I have this Intel Nook computer. I'm looking to load it. It says a bootable device is not detected. So we're going to try to boot it again and watch what happens. And as you can see, there is a password that must be unlocked. And um, I don't have the password, so I'm gonna show you how to bypass this. It's not a difficult thing at all, and this is how you do it. Okay, so there are four screws on the bottom of the computer. As you can see, take the four screws out. Next, what you wanna do is you see this yellow jumper pin right here. You wanna take that off. Take it completely off. As you can see, it's sitting on the two, three position, or that could be the one, two position, but you see how there's one pin available. So remember that. I'm gonna take this off now. Look at how small that thing is. Yep, that's it. Number one, suppress this menu until the bio security jumper is replaced. We're going to go for the second option. Clear BIOS user and supervisor passwords and press two. Okay, got it back on. Let's boot it. And we should have full access. So, okay, we're back where we started. Now, when I hit control, alt, delete and hit F2, I should be able to see the visual BIOS. There we go. Intel visual BIOS and boom. As you can see, we have an i5-5300 running at 2.3 gigahertz and we are running eight gigs of RAM. Yep. And I'm gonna tell you how to get these. I got plenty of them. I got those. I have some other ones that are newer right here. And I'm gonna tell you how to get this stuff.